You can't change your mind on me. Sound impatient. <clears throat> Wait for some people to get in. It's been a long day. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? <laughs> For the free. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Stephen A, why was you at them colleges, boy? Why was you at them high schools, boy? Lesser charge. What you doing tonight? Sprinkles. <laughs> what you doing tonight, Lesser? DJ Envy, we know where you at. You on that leash. Ball hair scallywag probably calling a game or something tonight. Well, how y'all doing? I'll be on uh, I'll be on Tasha K tomorrow. Um, I don't know what she's gonna ask me um, because I don't care what she's gonna ask me. I'm gonna answer whatever questions that she asks me. Um, I think I have a testimony. And I'm willing to get my testimony out. So, and uh, you know, whatever question she's going to ask me, like I said, I'll be as honest as I can. Sprinkle a little mama's cooking on it. I don't know. She might want me to tone it down a little bit on her platform. I might have to tone it down a little bit. <laughs> Who's that? I was at the door waiting for me. Where? <laughs> yeah, but it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people saying a lot of things. Uh, a lot of people saying a lot of things negative, but it's also a lot of people saying a lot of things positive. And I appreciate um, all the people that are saying positive things and seeing the bigger picture. Um, I see someone's wrote in the comment said, "No, Tasha K," and it's like, you know, that's what we got to stop doing. Um, I tried to have a conversation with the two gentlemen that started this little argument. Um, but these gentlemen didn't want to have a conversation until I started talking back, talking loud and talking better than they was. <laughs> and then they wanted to have a conversation. So it's about respecting one another. It's about letting people get their opinions out. Um, it's not about the clout chase that I'm finding out that people are doing on YouTube. Um, you have grown men <laughs> that will literally sit on the internet. These people are educated. These people claim to be doctors. These, king, these people claim to be uh, very educated. I'm not gonna say your name, um, but they will spend time, hours, instead of moving on with their educated, great life. Um, I'm so bad, but you spend hours talking about a guy you don't know. How is that educated? Making assumptions based on your now hurt feelings. Um, that's not educated. You're just in your feelings. <laughs> I hope you get out of them soon. <laughs> Cause you look stupid, but um, I never came onto YouTube saying I was going to talk to somebody and all this other stuff that people are now trying to say because they're fake educated and they're fake bourgeoisie. Me, I came here saying that I was going to expose some condescending bitches, some go along, get along game, and I used my platform to talk about helping children, to talk about positive things, to bring people on that are doing great things in their neighborhoods, to shed light on their platform and their success. Um, I've offer, offered King Randall my platform. Um, I brought on Craig Hodges, my moot, um, Devin George. So, I mean, the people that are detractors, I mean, it is what it is at this point. 
but the the work, like I said, the work is going to speak for itself. Um, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get myself together for bed. I had a long day at the lake. I didn't want to put it on YouTube, but I posted some pictures on Instagram, but I'm just a little nervous, a little excited about Tasha K. Cause like I said, I know that's a big platform. I know a lot of people don't support her, but there, there's a lot of people that do support her. So um, to spread this message that I'm trying to spread about um, these young males being emasculated and um, to spread the fact that masculinity is being attacked, period. Um, we have to do something about it because our numbers, regardless of who get offended, our numbers are starting to speak for themselves. And uh, if we just go off numbers, they don't look very good. So, uh, oh yeah, somebody said something about Soldier Boy. Um, yeah, I saw that. I saw Soldier Boy went the hell off on Charlemagne the guy. <laughs> Charlemagne the lesser charge. Lesser charge, what is your infatuation with Soldier Boy? Is it because he a young, great nigga that just keep accomplishing more than you and he ain't have to be a part of them little rituals that you did to uh, allegedly did to get on? Is that why you keep bothering this young dude that like pioneered a whole lane? Is that why you keep bothering him, Weasel? See, your white zaddy got you thinking you, you untouchable, you like perfect. I, I told you, uh, Lesser Charge, I liked you better before I knew what you did, and I also liked you better when you had that patch over your goddamn mouth. <laughs> I don't like you without that goddamn patch. You done bleached your skin, you done got bad and bougie. I don't like you like this. Shit, and, and we know about you, Lesser Charge. We know that you a Lesser Charge nigga, and you a bleach nigga. Boy. I wish them, I was feeling bad for you when them niggas were chasing you in New York wanting that drop when them niggas. <laughs> but now, I wish you would have slipped and they would have caught your ass. I wish you would have slipped and they would have caught you and jumped up and down on your ass like a trampoline. Goddamn soldier boy out here pioneering a whole lane for young niggas to eat. Got his mama <laughs> living good. He done sprinkled his mama cooking at a young age. Your patch-eyed ass was picking up young girl. Allegedly, I think. For real, I think. I don't know. I snap. I'm crazy. Nasty son of a bitch. Mm-mm-mm. But anywho, back to something positive. I had to just get up. Hey, that little weasel. Hey, weasel. Hey, Weasel, uh, Matt, uh, Maddie, Becky with the good hair. I had to say something to you. Shout out to Carcino. I was watching Carcino live. Boy, you shouldn't have never fucked with Carcino. <laughs> Boy, I thought I was kicking y'all ass. Carcino got receipts on you, motherfucker. He said Derek Fisher took three, he beat your ass three times. He said Derek Fisher took your wife. <laughs> I like what I said. He took your wife. He took your truck. That man wrecked your truck for real. Did he really allegedly get drunk and wreck your truck and your insurance had to pay for that shit because your name was on it? God damn, boy. <laughs> you really are soft like I thought. <laughs> God damn. Ooh, ooh. And Carcino got receipts on your bitch ass and y'all fucking with our YouTube like this? Not sending out notifications? Everybody who's on my page, I want y'all to uh, delete your notifications or disarm your notifications and sign back up. They say that's a way that you can uh, try to get your notifications turned back on. Turn them off, turn them back on. But, uh, man, boy, that's a shame, man. That is a shame. Then the man exposed you about your new girl. Mm-mm-mm. You a controlled puppet, for real. You can't even break up. <laughs> it's bad for your job for you to even break up, boy. Goodness gracious. Mm -mm -mm. 
eyes free. <laughs> you a control puppet. But um, like I say, I hope Tasha K asks some very tough questions um, because I think this conversation that I have is needed to be had. Um, and I'm open to conversations with real people and not people that just want to troll and worry about their numbers <laughs> and talk about strangers. Stranger danger, fella. I see you talk about me, fella. Stranger danger. I don't know you, boy. <laughs> I don't know you like that. You don't know me like that. But you talk a lot for a man that don't go heels. You sure do. Talk a whole, whole lot. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm, but uh, we got some big things coming. I was supposed to have, uh, I'm gonna have some NBA players come on my platform and uh, we're gonna have some chats. We're gonna start getting into some, some, uh, some NBA talk, some basketball talk. We're gonna talk about hip hop. We're gonna talk about um, the culture. We're gonna talk about everything, politics, because I think that's what's missing. Uh, men speaking about real issues because you can't get it on any other network uh, or any on, on any live television. So you'll be able to get it through the Mama's Cooking Podcast. Mama Cooking Podcast will be, I'll be announcing it soon. I think I'll be finishing up, putting the finishing touches on it tomorrow. Um, uh, if I can go ahead and get the logo signed off on, well, not signed off on, but finished like I want. And, uh, but I signed the contract. Um, uh, Mama's Cooking Podcast is on the way. And we will be touching on a lot more topics. And nobody will have to mess with my algorithms or they won't have to turn off notifications. You'll be able to hear it on you know, any of your radio stations, FM, AM, you can download apps, I don't care, but you'll be able to hear mama's cooking. Cause I've been cooking behind the scenes too, see? You know, I've been playing dumb for so long, but uh, I probably was the spook who sat by the door. <laughs> Cause uh, maybe you guys can't understand that it's people killing people over Michael Jordan's shoes still to this day. When you idolize someone the way that people idolize this man, imagine an 18 year old kid saying something, playing a game that he know he's gonna lose at, speaking against Michael Jordan and the media, which even to this day won't even ask him about the trade for Elton Brand. So if they won't ask him now, imagine how many years I would have been in the league if I would have said what I knew. So for you guys that can't understand that, touche, my nigga, I understand, I get it. <laughs> but if you would have done it, that's you. But I did what the fuck I knew better to do. <laughs> fuck you talking about. You niggas. The one nigga that I'm talking about, no, it's two of y'all. You two niggas stupid as fuck. <laughs> that nigga talking about. That nigga talking about, what's a red do? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I bet you don't. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> I bet you don't, little boy. <laughs> what you thought, nigga? <laughs> you, don't, <laughs> you don't know nothing about me. Trust and believe. I'm real polite. I'm super polite in public. Shout out to Kevin Gates. I'm real polite. Everybody who know me know I'm, they'll never tell you nothing wrong. My, my shit is consistent. He a tall, cool motherfucker. Just leave him alone, though. He a tall, cool, funny motherfucker. He might talk a little too much. He might joke too damn much, too. But sometimes he get quiet. Just leave that boy, leave that dead boy alone. <laughs> they also will tell you that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I'm excited about Tasha K because I think we're going to have a beautiful interview. 
you know, I saw the Kevin Samuels interview. I thought that was very professional. I thought it was cool. I don't know if I should dress up or come in one of my camo shirts or something. You know, I want to be comfortable. It's going to be late at night. Shit, I'm going to be sleepy. I, w I want to really come in there just with my camo, my goddamn, my goddamn, <laughs> My goddamn bedroom slippers. I like these motherfuckers. I don't give a damn what nobody say. At night, I like these on my feet. Shit. I like my camo. I like my little t-shirt and my shouts. And I gotta have my nice comfortable slippers. Since it, since I ain't had no shoes on, you know, I like comfortable shit on my feet now. <laughs> and uh I'll, I'll be divulging a little more on Tasha Kay's uh, interview about my upbringing. Because I think uh, now people want to make it like I never had a pair of shoes until that day. Uh, it wasn't like that. <laughs> but I will answer all the questions and I will tell a little more about my story. But I won't say everything because I'm still pinning the book. Tasha bet not try no ish. I mean, I don't see what she want to try. I mean, if she has a problem with uh, me talking about youth centers and, and building, uh, doing coding in school systems, then, uh, then, you know, but I don't think she'll have a problem with that. I think I know one of the questions she's going to ask me, and I'll answer. No, I'm only going to talk about what I've already talked about on the Internet. Um, some of the things that I've only already said openly on the Internet, I'm going to give the backstory of uh, what I've already openly said. And I'm going to speak about uh, things that, shout out to Charlemagne the God, uh, the lesser charge. I'm going to speak about things that he's put in the media about my family. So. Um, those things are already out there, so there's no need to save it for a book when it's already out there, so. Please, can you please wear <laughs> what a Stephen A jacket and make your head bald? <laughs> oh, Lord. Man, that's crazy. This comment section is crazy. Great, but trust no one. Yeah, I'm finding that out now. Um, now, what I've learned is what's happening is um, this go along, get along gang is some bad motherfuckers. <laughs> and they seem to have almost helped everyone at some point in time in life. And it seems like that person that they've helped is connected to a person that I'm talking about at some point. And that person is like, I guess cool with me, or I guess guiding me, I get, I don't know what the hell going on, but it seemed like this go along, get along gang is trying to get to me through my friends and through some new people that's pretending to be friends. So I'm kinda, they're trying to put a little do little twist because so far I've been ahead of everything that they was going to do. i am able to tell you guys things that they're going to do before they do it. Because I've been watching for so long, they, they do this all the time. First, they call you crazy. They try to defame your character. They try to, you know, make you seem like you're the most ignorant, whatever. They'll overlook any accomplishment you ever had at whatever age you had it, that's outside the norm of most people that age. They, they will just overlook all of that. And <laughs> they will highlight the negative, you, or if you're cursing, or if you're talking loud, they'll highlight those things and overlook what you actually, the context of what you're actually saying. Um, and that's how they've been beating everybody with that. And then if that don't work, and the smear campaign don't work, they usually try to send a woman at you or make you beef with women as a whole because women, uh, when they get mad as a whole, even if you're talking to one woman, it shuts down everything. 
Uh, and if that doesn't, well, that always work. Um, or they'll try to get you entangled up with the LGBTQ. I don't know the rest. I'm sorry. That's not none of my business. My cousin, my gay cousin can tell me about it, but I don't know nothing about that and I don't get in that lane. But the point is, these they use the LGBT community as well to derail any movement. So my question to anything that somebody would say as a detractor, so if you don't like Kwame, or if you don't like something he said, does that negate the fact that coding helps in school systems? That it, that it should be in school systems? Would that negate the fact that we need to have trades go back into these high schools and make it mandatory that they at least learn too? Instead of learning basket weaving and all these other stupid electives, it should be mandatory too. It shouldn't be learning Spanish. It shouldn't be learning French. It should be, because we don't know in the numbers game what that's going to do for some of these kids. But we know if they learn two or three trades, they're independent men and women. We know that for a fact. So if you don't like Kwame, does that mean those things are not true? Because I'm starting to notice more people are starting to talk about the man and not the message. Maybe I am a flawed man. I'm not perfect. Who, who's not? If that's the way you're going to do anybody that's going to tell you something true, then you'll never learn any damn thing because we're all imperfect, right? He, was, he who is without sin cast the first stone. And some of you some bitches need to be dropping it on your head like I did. Drop, boy, you throw that bitch, drop it and shake it off and shut your damn mouth and listen. Because your ass ain't perfect either. Before you throw, drop it, shake it off and shut your goddamn mouth. Now, I'm going to go to goddamn bed because that's enough of mama's cooking because I wasn't supposed to be on here tonight. And I know my daughter, she went to sleep. So I hope she sleep. I think she sleep. I hope she sleep. But uh, whew, we had a fun day. I made y'all laugh for a little bit. We're going to be on Tasha K tomorrow. I might hit you all with something in the morning. I don't know because I got to go get a hair. I might cut my own hair tomorrow. I need to get my hair twisted. Can't go up there looking like this but you know what i mean i don't know y'all tell me what y'all want me to wear should i wear my camo up there or wear a suit i'm gonna be uncomfortable as hell in a suit eight o'clock at night i don't do all these meetings and shit. oh everybody like the camo camo suit white shirt <laughs> Yeah, y'all don't want me to be me. I'm going to come up there in my goddamn house shoes. <laughs> I'll come in my, my house shoes, T-shirt, shit, and a bottle of wine. What's up, Tasha? You say you drink wine. Let's get it, girl. <laughs> Let's get it, lady. Let's get it on. Shit. I might put on one of my damn trucker hats because I like a hat on my head anyway. I don't know. I'm used to a hat. Oh, get comfortable? Yeah, man, I hope she don't mind. I like to be comfortable. Kevin Sammy, he let him be smooth. I can't be that goddamn smooth. Shit, I ain't never been able to sit still that, that goddamn long. Shit, I had to do the wiggle wiggle. I'm one of them wiggle wiggle kids. Shit, I gotta keep moving. So, I might go, I might go comfortable. I'm, I'm gonna email her in the morning. <laughs> but I do wanna come comfortable as hell. I'll go buy a new shirt for her. I'll go buy a new t-shirt and a trucker hat and my, and, and my house shoes. Shit. Come over there. I can sit over there a long, uh, long time then. Just chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wizards jersey. <laughs> I, got a, I got a Wizards jersey. Shit, I got I to gotta break it out the damn frame. No. No, you know what? I don't got a Wizards jersey no more. I don't think. My brothers take all my shit. She lies. Who don't lie? You, whoever takes she lies. You don't lie? You lying now. <laughs> yeah, you tell her. Y'all people perfect, huh? <laughs> tell about she lies. I lie too. <laughs> yeah, you talking about. <laughs> we all lie. I told you. 
Before you throw that goddamn rock, drop it on your goddamn head, shake it off and shut your goddamn mouth. Yeah, you talking about she lying. You lie too. You lying now, I told you. Shit, what's wrong with people? Who is perfect? Well, Matt Barnes jersey, I wouldn't put no... I wouldn't put no slick head, <laughs> weasel, jump over a goddamn open gate, almost broke my goddamn ankle, trying to give advice when I'm an out of control punk. And listen, Matt, you better learn how to fucking fight. Cause you stood there with Obaka. Obaka had your ass lined up, boy. He had that motherfucker tucked and he had you lying. You ain't even moved. You had there like a Karen. You just stand there, hit me. I bet you won't. I bet you won't hit me. Yep. You better move your motherfucking head back up out of range or something, motherfucker. Is you dumb or you stupid or you are you stupid or are you dumb? You didn't back out of range. You didn't do nothing. You got this big old mandingo looking motherfucker ready to bust you across your goddamn pretty Ricky look. Not pretty Ricky. I like pretty Ricky though. Yo, cheek on the bars, look at ass mouth. You wet weasel hair motherfucker. And you stood there like a Karen. I bet you won't. I'll call my lawyer. You ain't look like a nigga that know how to fight. Cause nigga, you supposed to faint. You supposed to flinch. You you think this middle school? Do you know what would have happened if that big motherfucker would have hit you? Boy, your legs would have turned into goddamn spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti, nigga. Not spaghetti, spaghetti, nigga. You'd have been fucked up. You'd have been trying to get up, falling down, get up, falling down. That boy would have fucked you up. You had your chin up high, too. You little skinny neck bastard, you. Trying to look tough. You can tell you, I've been, I've been watching you now, boy, since you said all that weak ass shit to me. I've been, I've been looking at your mannerism, too, boy. You try to be cute too goddamn much. And sticking your neck up like your head up like that. That is no good for you. <laughs> I hope you unlearn that, boy. Cause that's dumb as fuck. You're supposed to keep your chin down. Not up in the air when somebody got their fist reared back. And you might back up out, you, you might need to back up out of range with your hands up. Since you were inviting people to boxing matches and shit, you might want to, you know, practice, protect yourself at all times, at least. You know, that's just me being a friend. You know, I'm trying to help you, <laughs> you know. Because, you know, I know you're sad and I know you're hurt because <laughs> you got to stay in that relationship now because she done got that baby out your dumb ass. <laughs> Let me not laugh. It doesn't happen to me, too. Let me not laugh at that because I was mad as a motherfucker when it happened to me. Hell yeah. And so, but I, I want to laugh at you because you a weasel and I hate bullies and you think you a tough guy. You think you tough. I don't think you tough. And I think you should have apologized, boy. But it's okay. It's okay. You think something. You've been told something. You've been pushed the narrative. So you think something. <laughs> yeah, you think something. But you don't know nothing. You know nothing. And you other boy that keep running your goddamn mouth that I ain't gonna say shit about your dumb ass. <laughs> you too, boy. You know nothing. You know nothing. Yeah, man, I DM uh, Cat Williams. I'm trying to see what's up. I got a homeboy that say he knows some people that know some people. So I have him reach out to some people tomorrow. And hopefully I can get get Cat, uh, Cat on, man. I think that'll be an amazing show. So, matter of fact, I'm gonna get up off here. I'm gonna call that joker tonight. You, it's, they, I hope he out there in LA. Call them right now. Shit. <laughs> but uh, y'all have a blessed night. Um, I'll see if I got some cooking for y'all tomorrow. Your notifications are not coming through. Yeah, I mean, I told y'all what was going to happen. YouTube, you know. John Mayer told y'all what was going to happen in that song. When they, own, when they own the information, they can bend it all they want. When they control the information, I think that's what he said. When they control the information, they can bend it all they want. So that's what they're doing. But good night to you guys. Have a blessed night. They got me tired on that water. It was hot as I don't know what, but I had fun. 
So y'all have a blessed night. Gone.